In Kenya, youth-centered self-help groups and organizations have in the last few years provided a platform for leadership, empowerment, entrepreneurship, and active participation. The Youth Exchange Network was formed to identify and tackle youth-related issues on a long-term basis. The Youth Exchange Network is basically uh, a consortia of eight organizations, uh, namely Kabiro, Uzima Foundation, FPPS, CDEREC, Kikoshep, MISA, and uh, KAPC, including PATH. And basically, the network was formed so that it could contribute to the development of young people in Kenya, as well as the member organizations, to provide occasions where this exchange of uh, knowledge, experiences, and opportunities. Yen and the Kenya Wazimba Youth Foundation organized a national youth conference to celebrate achievements while evaluating the challenges of youth participation and sustainability in community development programs. On the evening before the conference, the delegates were divided into groups to develop an agenda and their expectations for the conference. Maybe somebody wants to know what is sustainability, or somebody is saying, I want to meet other youth, or somebody says, I have made material which I want to sell, or I want anything that you expect. Learn more about what other youth are doing around Kenya. From here you get the good message to take to the rest. Yeah. Because as you come here you are like a representative for a big yeah. community all over there. The conference aims at bringing together youth development organization, donors and other stakeholders to talk about the role of this that organization this play, play in the, the well-being of a Kenyan, Kenyan society, society and to think strategically about how this can become more sustainable and, and effective. effective. Basically, I, I am looking forward to be empowered as an individual, as a youth leader, for me to be able to dispense better and at the same time to be a good leader. And two, for my organization, I'm also looking forward to how I can, probably the young people can benefit from that in terms of how young people understand the issues affecting them and what solutions they can themselves come up with. I hope to get out with more knowledge to go and give back to the youth back in Migori. Yeah, and teach them more about what I've learned. With 300 youth organization delegates from all the provinces in Kenya, this was the first truly national conference. Renewed interest by the government of Kenya in youth development and entrepreneurship, coupled with support of international and local organizations and corporate companies, prompted Yen to facilitate a process of sharing experiences with all interested stakeholders. The theme of the conference was Road to Sustainable Approaches in Youth Development and focused on issues of sustainability and impact of youth development organization. We brought youths from all provinces in Kenya to have a conference where we talk about sustainability and development. The conference was officially opened by the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of the USIU. Success must be the light you see at the end of the tunnel. It must be the culmination of what you are doing. You must work to succeed. There will be challenges along the way. There will be some failures, but those should only be challenges 
that should propel you to want to succeed even more. The youth make up 60% of the population and the challenges they face have a huge effect on the country. There is rampant unemployment, irresponsible sexual behavior, drug abuse, and a general lack of awareness. Youth organizations also discussed on the role of a national youth network, addressed sustainability and impact of networks, and brainstormed on the possibilities for reshaping Yen as a more inclusive, empowering, and service-oriented entity. We are here today to network with other youth and uh, also to know what other organizations are doing to make the organization uh, stable. And also I've come to know what steps are we having, uh, what go ahead for the youth is there. I'm here so, uh, to learn so much about the networking and to learn the, the new networking partners that I can work with to enhance uh, my initiatives down to the grassroots. Meeting as uh, many youth organizations so that we can form sustainability of the youth groups that we have, how we can get more funding and how we can maintain the funding that we have. The Ford Foundation is involved with a conference of this nature because we recognize that uh, there are many more young people and young people's organizations that uh, want to do work, want to contribute towards the development of the country, then there is opportunity. That it's very tough to raise funds, uh, to set up an organization or to make it work. And that we fund eight youth organizations in a context where there are literally hundreds. And what we were trying to do was to take the experiences of those groups that we support and share them on a wider range with, uh, with, with other organizations, try and see whether that might strengthen the sector as a whole, so those organizations that we weren't directly funding. It was also to try and give us an opportunity to hear from young people around what are the challenges they face in making their work more sustainable and to see whether there were ways in which we could work differently that would enable us to uh, meet more needs. Panelists, drawn from various youth-involved organizations, were at hand to give directions and provide answers about areas within their jurisdiction. In general terms, what the Ford Foundation does is we try to support innovative projects that other people aren't supporting. And we try and support individuals who are trying to strengthen and build new institutions and organisations. And we try and find institutions and individuals who are working broadly in the area of building democracy, human rights and social justice, and development. Ozimba is a youth foundation that supports young people between the ages of 16 and 24 that have cleared uni or high school and don't have a, a university to go to or a job to go to. It helps them kind of get work experience on the job experience. So we get um, opportunities like conferences and we get young people to facilitate the conferences, to put them together, to do the security, the invitations, the artwork and everything. That way they get a hands-on feel of what it is they're doing. The conference also provided an opportunity for donors and corporate companies to present on their stand as relates to young people, share where the youth and their activities fit in their funding structures, corporate social responsibility budgets, provide insights on criteria used in selecting projects to fund, talk about their expectations of youth and youth organizations, and provide advice on sustainability to encourage the young people. The first issue is that youth tend to get dumped all together and that we have a vision in our head around what that is and very often it doesn't take into account uh, the particularities of different groups. So that in relation to the Ford Foundation, we try and work with the people who are most marginal and the most silenced 